Hey, this is Dan and Phil, and you are on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with Phil and Dan, Hi. also known as Dan and Phil. Mm -hmm. How's yeah. it going? Good. <laughs> How are you? Very good. Are you enjoying playlists? Yeah, yeah. Warm. I was which just is nice and refreshing. Yeah. I was just saying, I'm really tan now. No, <laughs> yeah. no longer look like Voldemort. Phil, Phil is so uh, tan. You can yeah. tell. Just yeah. a little bit of Florida sun. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. the beauty of being in Florida. Mm -hmm. And this is like your third playlist live now. Yeah. yeah it yeah. is. Yeah. So how has this year been different for you guys? It's been um, a lot bigger. Yeah. There's yeah, more sure. people to meet. More people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's just the same. It's just meeting people that watch our videos. So mm -hmm. it's amazing. Absolutely. Can't go wrong with that, right? No. Well, we are going to start with some finished sentence questions for you guys. Sure, let's do this. Now, your favorite viral video is... Crying Sorority Girl. What is that? You've not seen Crying Sorority Girl? No. Get out. Just, just go watch that now. This interview, interview is over. Stop the interview. Everybody pause this and go watch it if you haven't seen it like me. Like, yeah. I'm going to pause this right now I'm and go serious. watch it. I'm being serious. Wait, so what is it though? It's just a girl that um, tried to do a prank at her college dorm and made a mess and she's crying in a car because she got told it's off. It's so oh. good. It's really funny. Yeah, okay. it's, like, it's my favorite thing in the entire world. Yeah. So can you top that? Uh, Beyonce clown. Ah, uh, that's pretty amazing. How am I missing these viral videos? Do you what? Even internet? Do you need yeah. to see Beyonce Do clown? I even internet? Apparently not. No. Apparently not. Well, next one, your favorite pickup line is... Um, I screech wow. like a hawk, and then they know that I'm full of weirdness, and if they don't run away, then we're meant to be together. It's like a mating call. Yeah. I can't talk yeah. that. No, that, was, that, yeah, that was inspirational. You could Thank do traditional you. Joey, how you doing? I, I know, I think the eagle squawk is definitely the way to go. Okay. That was yeah. good, yeah. That I'm, was I'm good pretty brilliant. That. Did you fall in love with me? I did, right then and there. It was like love at first squawk. <laughs> <laughs> and now, your most embarrassing high school memory is? Uh, pff, no idea. Um, I feel like you guys share some interesting insight in your embarrassing high school years in your videos once yeah. in a while, yeah? I, dye, I tried to dye my hair blonde and it went bright orange. <laughs> On, on the first day of a new school. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with being ginger. No, yeah. no. But it was like a beacon. I, ah, like I was fluorescent orange. And I, yeah. I mean, like Haley Williams amazing. orange. Haley Williams orange. It was snowing. Which People were throwing snowballs at me. I was like a snowball magnet. That's pretty traumatic. Yeah. That wow. Is. I don't bleach your hair if you don't know what you're doing. That's no. the moral yeah. here. Yeah. Moral of the story. At least nobody else is going to make that mistake. Hopefully. Hopefully, Hopefully. not. Please don't. <laughs> that was bad. Now, if you could trade places with any other YouTuber for a day, it would be. Uh, probably Harley from Epic Meal Time, just so I could eat it and then not feel bad, because then you could yeah. trade back. So I'd be like, go into being Harley, and then like, lasagna, and then the next day I'd be like, don't have to feel bad about it. That's the dream, to yeah. be honest. And not yeah. just any lasagna, like fast food lasagna. Epic lasagna. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. What about you? Uh, Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> just a magical world. That Anything could cool. happen. It would be terrifying though, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. And the best part is that definitely Charlie. counts as yeah. a YouTuber. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're the most starstruck when you met. Um, ooh. ooh. Have you ever been that starstruck? Um, I was pretty starstruck when I met Hayley Williams from Paramore. Oh. Yeah. Well, just then that was, was really a pretty, wasn't she? Yeah. Mm. I, I just wasn't expecting it. And then I saw her and I was like, oh, my mouth is so dry. Very orange hair. <laughs> So it was good. We also saw Jared Leto in the corner at the same place, didn't oh, we? And we were too scared to go yeah. up to him because he's like Jared Leto, isn't he? So yeah, yeah. yeah and I saw it was pretty video. cool. And I saw Beyonce's feet oh. walking past the so dressing you were room. Starstruck by just her feet. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't be starstruck by Beyonce's feet? <laughs> They're legendary feet. <laughs> and our last one, your favorite part of visiting the U.S. is. Uh, just the warmth. Ah, it depends where we go. Yeah. We only go to like L.A. and Florida, don't we? So yeah. when I come, I'm yeah. like actual sunbeams on my skin so that's mainly it oh and our friends yeah, yeah and friends too i guess the most important thing is pancakes though obviously <laughs> do you breakfast. guys not have pancakes back home well, no, american pancakes are just like so much better they're really thick and you get all the syrup I think you just use it as an excuse because like when you're on holiday you can kind of eat kind of bad so it's, it's like room service pancakes twice a day yeah oh yeah. no and being at playlist live you are literally in a hotel with room service whenever you want yes oh yes yeah. And now you guys have become so popular on YouTube, but I'm wondering, is that exaggerating? I don't think so. I don't think it is. But what were you guys doing before you started posting on YouTube? Did you have other jobs or another career path uh, in mind? No, I kind of like just finished school and then started and then it just kind of happened. So uh -huh. I wasn't doing anything else. I had like teen jobs, but yeah. not before YouTube. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
I worked in a stationery shop, which was That's horrible. Cool. Yeah, it was man. horrible. A woman threw a chocolate orange at my head. Oh. And I thought, I want to do something more with That's my life. Assault. Uh, also, I did some work experience at a veterinary surgery, um, but then... How did that work out? I fainted at the sight of blood, so... Oh. That wasn't Probably for me. not meant to be a vet then. No. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you're a YouTuber now, yeah. so we don't have to deal with that anymore. Not too much blood on Amazing Phil's channel. New channel, yeah. though. Operations with Dan and Phil. Yeah, oh. what can go wrong with that? <laughs> Give us your dogs. <laughs> no. I would not trust you guys with that oh. at all. Okay. No, I'm That's sorry. Sorry. Good luck with that channel, though. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's the future. It is the future of YouTube right here. Yeah. And you guys, for anybody who doesn't know, you do live together. Yeah. And we see that sometimes in your videos. What is the best and worst part of living with each other? Um, Phil's really messy. You are. I'm yeah, right. yeah I'm I have a problem. Kitchen destruction. Like Phil can't make coffee without getting sugar <laughs> like across the entire kitchen. It's no. I mean like it's kind of hard to take a spoonful of sugar from like the sugar thing to the cup. But Phil like somehow does like a like a, a, a panoramic of sugar across everything. <laughs> like a ritual yeah. of sugar. But then the sometimes he'll make me the coffee, so it kind of balances out. Okay. Best yeah, yeah. I, I do. Make, I'm, I'm always making people coffees just to make me feel better about my coffee themed. addiction. Yeah. Uh, it's good to live with a YouTuber though, because then you can be like, hold the camera for me at three in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And That's you don't good. have to worry about vlogging and then being embarrassed because no. your roommate's wondering what you're doing because both of yeah. you are doing it. So no, though I am still like, don't listen to me if I'm filming yeah. a video. Yeah, I, I feel really weird. It's like I'm doing something strange. Really? It's that bad? Yeah, I just Aww. don't like people listening because especially if you do a, hey guys, and then you'd like do an edit and then you're like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You get a bit stumbly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that happens to everybody though, mm -hmm. so it's all good. And for anybody who doesn't know, you also do a show on BBC Radio 1, mm -hmm. which is a very big deal. Thank and you. since you started out as YouTubers and eventually ended up becoming radio hosts, how did you adjust to that? Um, well, it's kind of like, it's the same thing we do, it's just the only difference is live, so it's kind of like the same kind of stuff, because we've done live shows before, yeah. and like our videos are kind of what we do on the radio show, except it's just live, so we just had to get used to doing it without going, oh, bleh, 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 too much. <laughs> Which I, I, I do that a lot. Yes. And also you've got to hold some things back in your head, you're like, no, I probably shouldn't say that to can't the nation. Swear. Can't say that, that's offensive. Yeah. yeah. Censorship. But you were saying how sometimes you have to edit your videos, so I guess on the radio you cannot. No, no. You cannot edit yourself, no, but you if you make a mistake, you just have to laugh about it, so it's fine. Yeah. Have you had any embarrassing moments on the radio show that you wish you could have cut out? Um, there was one time where we were playing Limbo and a song broke halfway through and we, we had to be realize. like, oh, no. oops, and then just <laughs> waffle. Yeah, that was pretty awkward, wasn't it? I've wanted to sneeze loads as well, so I've been talking about it. <laughs> um, I've always wondered, I've never heard a radio host sneeze. I, I ever. always have sneezed so many times, you just have to hold it in so much. That it, sounds painful. It What's is. the secret to holding in a sneeze? Just, yeah. just, just think, don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. the roof of your mouth or something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a trick. Oh, so and then no sneezing. No, yeah. no sneezing. No sneezing during this interview. No. And what preparation goes into each radio show episode? Um, well, Quite a lot. Yeah. yeah, we play music videos made by people watching, which okay. is cool. So um, we watch all the music videos yeah. so we can talk about them. Um, then we think about what funny things have happened in our lives that we want to talk about. And then we'll plan like the games that we're doing that week and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. we always do a Dan vs. Phil, so we've always got to think of what's the Dan vs. Phil going to be and how's that, how's that going to work. We've done some pretty weird ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. what has been the weirdest? Um, once we did like uh, like horse show jumping, oh, no. but with our hands in Wellington <laughs> boots. That was the weirdest one. We yeah, had was... hands and feet in Wellington boots doing a show jumping course as a horse. Dignity levels were like... <laughs> Ooh. Hey, anything for a good video or a good radio show, right? Know, yeah. 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 And since you guys do have a pretty big channel and you're at Playlist Live and you know you're constantly going to events where your fans are, what has been the craziest run in with a fan? Uh, the craziest run-in with a fan I've ever had was I was at a theme park in the UK and this girl rugby tackled me. Yeah. Oh, like an American football tackle. Like a, so oh. I was just stood there, but she like ran into me with so much force I actually fell over. <laughs> so it was funny. so funny. Because he yeah. didn't know he was coming, so it was like someone. I, was going, I thought Whoa! I thought I was like getting hit by a truck or something. I was like, because when I was like falling, I was like, what's happening? I was like, oh, it's an Asian girl. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So that that was really funny. Yeah. And yeah. now I'm kind of hoping she's watching this I interview. Hope so. Maybe. So yeah, shout you out. Really take out professional football if you haven't. I'd like to yeah. see that. Some good advice. Yeah. And if you guys could collaborate with anybody, who would it be and what kind of a role would you want them to play in one of your videos? Charlie the Unicorn. I'd just like to be Charlie in an episode. That would be amazing. Dan and Phil. We are we in are, an episode. We are in oh, we, did, we, we didn't voice ourselves. There though. was a Playlist Live video that Charlie the Unicorn made yeah. and we're actually in it, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So you technically collaborated already, with them. We've already we've lived already our dream. Yeah. 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 And Jenna Marbles is in that, isn't she? She is too. Mm. Oh, very cool. Maybe, you, should, you should watch that if you haven't. Yeah. Just search like Charlie 
the Unicorn playlist live. Yeah. It's a good okay. video. Or maybe community channel, because then I could just go to Australia. Yeah. Excuse to go to Australia. Yeah. Nice. And you guys have been on YouTube for quite a while now, so do you ever go back and look at your old videos? And oh. what is your reaction to them? Sometimes to laugh, I'm like, man, I had no idea how to edit. Because <laughs> it's like a slow and painful process, isn't yeah. it? Learning? My, my yeah. first video had no editing. Really? Yeah, it's just one take. Talking. And how did that go for you? It was awful. Is this still up? It's like still on people... The internet. people yes! watch it. Okay. I'm like, hello, I'm Phil and this is my video it was blog. Black and white, wasn't yeah. it? Authentic. That was a northern accent yeah. by the way. I used to have a different accent. Oh. I'd probably still sound the same to you, but yeah. it was more like hello instead of hello. Oh yes. yeah. interesting. What yes. about you when you watch your older videos? Oh, I'm just like stop. Close don't. the laptop. I no. just yeah. don't. Yeah, it's <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I just play Dan's first video to annoy him, which I'm is like, Shh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you guys have had some very entertaining videos over the years, to say Thank the you. least. So what is the craziest thing you have done for the sake of a good video? I once stuck loads of ham to my face for a video. That was like so raw weird. ham. Um, that sounds so yeah, like that a that good time. I, yeah. And I uploaded a video of, because obviously I did it for like a sketch to make it look like I had no skin. But then oh. because I didn't turn off the recording while I was doing it, I have this video on my side channel of me just like sticking this ham to my face it's for like... Like 10 minutes, experience. yeah, that's... Mm. Yeah, mine would maybe be dressing up as a lion while trying to eat cereal with the wrong hand. That was fairly degrading, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it was very funny. It was I'm funny. Yeah. That. Thanks. That was good. It sounds like you guys have had some really degrading moments on your channel yeah. that millions of people get to watch now. Yeah. How does that feel? Good? Um, it's good, you know, it's like we're kind of sacrificing our dignity for the happiness of others, so yeah. I'm, I'm happy to bite that bullet. Yeah, all it's right. what it's all about. <laughs> that is what YouTube is all about. And what are your plans for right after Playlist Live? Um, pff, go to like Epcot or Busch Gardens yeah. or something. No Universal. Oh. Universal. Got to do yeah. all the touristy yeah. stuff. Well. Yeah, let's go get some butterbeer. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, it's the only that thing that's kind of in Orlando, isn't it? Parks. Yeah. So basically, we'll Harry do. Potter World is the only good thing in Orlando, aside from Playlist Live, of course, yeah. of course. Well, thank you guys so no much worries. for hanging out. Yes. Has yeah. been awesome. Everybody watching, make sure you check out Dan's channel and Phil's channel. Subscribe to ours for more interviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.